every movie has random trivia. Stop. You really don't want to go in there. I, th this movie, it is seriously bad. No, I mean really, really bad. <sighs> okay. Enter at your own risk. And here at Trivial Theater, I explore some of these movies and the random circumstances that make them the weird creations that we love. <sighs> so there are all levels of bad movies, and today's offering is not what you would call enjoyable. In fact, it could probably be described as, uh, let's see, burning, agonizing, excruciating, gut-wrenching. Yeah, that covers it. This is Replica. After three minutes of opening credits, featuring badly rendered DNA graphics, and this exposition dump that requires a magnifying glass to read, we are introduced to what looks like a crappy video game cutscene, and then some clearly credited footage of the late Christopher Reeve, set to the harmonies of an overly loud bird. We meet our hero, Joe, who happens to be recovering from a cloned kidney transplant. He creeps on Evelyn, his doctor, and creeps some more, until she finally gives in to going on a date. Dinner Saturday night? Unfortunately, I just can't close the big account. On a side note, the green screen is strong with this movie, and not in a good way. I guess cubicles and conference rooms are hard to find in San Francisco. Frankly, this makes the green screen and the amazing bulk look masterful. Also, you never miss sound effects and soundtrack until they're completely absent. Our couple finally <coughs> closes the big account, but if I'm not mistaken, that's not how sex works. She leaves the house and is taken out by the slowest deadly car crash ever recorded. <coughs> Joe mopes until he runs into a replica of his dead love, and he is bound and determined to win her heart. And since being a fucking creepy, overbearing ass worked so well the first time, he goes with that tried and true method again. And this, this right here is where we transition from a semi-weird, generic love story to a full-on Alfred Hitchcock ripoff. Joe pressures Claudia, you see it's Claudia because of the tasteful tramp stamp, to make her appearance match Evelyn's because tribute to Vertigo's famous storyline? By the way, I'm still no expert, but that's definitely not how sex works. Joe finds out that Claudia is a clone, and they go after the evil doctor who killed Evelyn, and intends to take over the world with his clonatron. We get the all-important social commentary reasons for cloning. Cloning can solve many social issues, such as racism. <sighs> really? Cloning ends racism? Fuck me. Claudia sacrifices herself. <laughs> Evil Doctor is killed in spectacular fashion. Ooh. And we're left with this pan out of a really cheesy, badly done CGI set. Okay, so if you couldn't tell, for a variety of reasons, this is not the easiest watch. I actually enjoyed the weirdness that is Birdemic. It was the first James Nguyen movie I saw, it was also the last James Nguyen movie I enjoyed. It does feature a lot of the same bullshit, but for some reason it's easier to roll with. In all fairness, this is only Nguyen's second feature, and Verdemic didn't come out for another five years. But. And this is a big but. The basics of filmmaking and even storytelling are jettisoned in favor of bad green screen and shitty audio. None of the audio is good, but there are some real gems that stand out as exceptionally bad. The paint on your car matches the flakes of paint at the scene. Your employer at Therapeutic Tech. Secret to your success. <laughs> You're not far wrong about that. <laughs> <sighs> yes, they're picking up radio broadcasts. Even worse than the audio is their actual words. Everything is exposition, and I mean fucking everything. These synthetic genetically engineered stem cells made with nanotech materials can be directed and programmed to differentiate between organ cells and culture growth that form into the liver, the kidneys, uh, other organs, the spinal cords, even the heart. Honestly, it's easier to pick up the one or two things that they did right. Hey, you turned on the camera. Hey, you only had one frame of black between your two shots. Hey, you sort of kind of framed your people. Now to address the rotund British director in the room. James Nguyen idolized Alfred Hitchcock and used a lot of his devices, story arcs, and references in his movies. Hitchcock, whose storytelling prowess, innovative shooting, and clever editing defined cinema then and now. Well, I'm pretty sure he's rolling over in his grave. Birdemic is not a perfect movie. It's cringy, stereotypical, has social commentary that's as subtle as a bag of hammers, and nobody can fucking walk like a damn human. But there are well-placed charms that do overcome some of these issues. Replica lacks all of that. It's just... it's just not worth your time. So what do you think? 
Any suggestions for movies? Trivial questions? Comments, ratings, and an answer to how the ever-loving fuck cloning is supposed to stop racism? And what genius came up with that idea would be appreciated. Thank you so very much for watching.